Hi everyone, it's Jeanette here from the Sewing Studio. Welcome to another tutorial, which today I'm going to be having a look at the Flying Ge Geese Ruler from Creative Grids. Now I've been doing some star block uh, demos and I haven't used this ruler yet in any of the star blocks, but watch this space because there may be one coming up shortly where I do something with that ruler. But I thought we would have a look at the purpose for this, which is flying geese. But this ruler is more than just a flying geese ruler. It does also cut quarter square triangles and half square triangles, which are the two units that you need to put together to make a flying geese. So we'll have a look at the ruler as we're cutting. Um, but let me just remind you of what I'm doing here. Now, this is my very getting quite messy by now stack of fabrics. So this is Soiree um, from Mara Penny for Moda Fabrics. And I'm using all of these fabrics to make a whole collection of different star blocks, which I'm going to turn into a children's quilt, hopefully, fingers crossed. So I'm still working my way through making all these star blocks. But I thought I would also use it for these flying geese units here today because I might be able to incorporate them into the quilt as well. So we'll look see um, and I've got half an idea of how I might do that. Let me just leave that there. So we've got all these beautiful fabrics in all the different pre-cuts and we've also got it um, all as yardage here as well or off the bolt um, so it gave me lots of different fabrics to play with. So this is one of the squares I had left from the pack that I've been going through and for these I'm doing flying geese units so that's the flying geese unit there let me just put it in under the close-up so you can see it and I'm doing a finished size of two by four inches so that's unfinished at two and a half by four and a half so for that our ruler will tell us the measurements we need so let's go and have a look at the ruler itself let's just get my trusty piece of blank paper there so as I said earlier this is actually two rulers in one I think sometimes people get a bit put off by the look of the ruler because it looks a bit complicated but in essence this top bit here is for cutting half square triangles and if we turn the ruler around this bottom bit here which is now at the top is for cutting quarter square triangles and everything we need is on this ruler for cutting quarter square and half square triangles but also for making our flying geese ruler which I say was what it was designed for so the markings on here and then let me just put it somewhere there so you can see you've got these black boxes and in each of these black boxes, it will give you the finished size of the flying geese unit. So we're doing two by four. So all we have to do is follow that line across and it will tell us what size strip we need to cut. And for this, it's two and a half inch strip. So let me just flip the ruler around the other way so you can see the half square triangle side. It says the same. So two by four, follow the line across and it's two and a half inch strips. So that's what I'm going to need to be working to fit in with the other blocks that I've been doing for this quilt. So everything you need is on this ruler, so it's really nice and easy to use. And I use it a lot of the time, like I say, for, for any units that have, or for any blocks that have got quarter square and half square triangles in. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut what they refer to as the geese. Now the geese unit is this triangle here, and it's named so because of the formation that geese fly in. And these two elements are often referred to as the sky. So we're going to cut this. Now in these, you can see that I've cut the geese unit from my pattern fabric and my sky elements from um, a, a white, a white strip. So we're going to do that. So first thing, I need to get my pattern fabric and my trusty two and a half by twelve and a half inch ruler, because I can literally just line that up on the edge and make a two and a half inch strip cut. Now I'm just gonna, because I've just got, I've been carrying this about so you can see it's begin, beginning to unravel a bit on the edges there. So I'm just gonna clean up that edge there. Just take off those, those messy bits and move them out the way. So let's make our first cuts. So I finished with that. So I'm gonna put that back on my stack of unused fabrics over there. Now we're gonna make the sky. So let me just put that block there for reference. But I found, instead of just starting to cut straight away, this is the quarter square triangle part of it. I'm actually going to take a half square triangle off it first because it will give me my 45 degree line. And I know because I've cut these already, I can get a half square triangle and then the quarter square triangle I'm going to line that one up. Sorry, I did that quite quickly. I'll show you with the other cut. We don't need these elements. I'm just cutting them for future blocks. 
So I'm lining up my two and a half inch strip. Let me put that under the close up. I'm lining up my two and a half inch strip line with the bottom of the strip. This now has, has gone onto that cut edge that we've just made by taking off that half square triangle. The blunt tip is at the top, and so I can just make a cut. So that's my geese unit there cut. Now, while I'm cutting, I'm going to cut another one because we can keep going. And I quite often don't like to leave a strip with a bias edge on it, but I know I can cut another one. So out of each 10 inch strip, I can get two flying geese units. And let's cut another half square triangle because I'm going to get another half square triangle out of that as well. So once again, I'm lining up my two and a half inch strip. Let's just move that down a little bit. There's my cut edge. There's my blunt top. So out of that 10 inch strip, I've got my two flying geese, two half square triangles for another project and a little bit of scrap, which I'll probably turn into a hexagon. So there we are, that's our first cut for our flying geese unit. Now we can turn our attention to the white fabric, which is going to be our sky. And this is going to be a lot simpler because we just need two half square triangle units. Now I might need to clean up that edge, so I'm just going to, actually no, it's okay. Put that, so I like get that a bit more center so you can see the lines on the ruler. So I'm lining up this bottom line that edge and the blunt tip. And that blunt tip is really useful because it means we haven't got any dog ears there. Let's got rid of one of the dog ears. So that's one. And then I'm just gonna turn the ruler. So the blunt tip now is facing towards me. And I'm lining up that line again on the bottom edge. And that's our second half square triangle. And that's all we need from that strip. So I can set that one aside and I'm gonna put those across there with it. And that's going to be our unit. So we can take those to the sewing machine and sew them on. Now I tend to start on the right, but it doesn't really matter. And you can just line it up, bottom edge. So let me bring that down so I'm in the, in the zone. Bottom edge with the bottom edge. And this should just fit, those two cut edges should just fit on either side of that bit of fabric there. So I can put a pin in that. Oh, I moved it pinning it without moving all the fabric. And then I'm gonna take our other unit and we're gonna sew this down with a quarter inch seam. Now this is where you need to be accurate because these are designed with a, a quarter inch cut. So we need an accurate quarter inch seam. Let's just start on a starter scrap. I'm just gonna take that one off. And then just at the machine here, I'm going to just finger press that open. And then we can put our other side on. So this now, that corner will fit into that corner. And I'm going to start from that end. Let's sew onto that bit again. Now we're going to take that to the iron and press. And then we're just going to use the iron and our fingers and just press that back. And there's our lovely little half square triangle unit. So all I need to do now is grab my little scissors and trim off those little threads there. And the little dog ears. You do get two dog ears just to trim. Let's just get rid of that little pokey bit. And there's our beautiful little flying geese unit. Really quick and really simple. So I've got some others that I've already made. So let's just have a look at some of the layouts we can do with the flying geese unit. Oh, let's just tidy up. So I've got some flying geese made here. I'm just gonna lay them out in one of just a simple setting where we can just have the geese all flying in the same direction. Put those aside for a minute, they'll come in. Or we can have it so that we've got one block going up 
and one block coming down. So that's another setting for it. We can do something which is called um, Dutchman's puzzle. Let me see. Let's go out, down, down. So we have our elements spinning around like that. You can also do a variation. So if we take that and put so it's the same layout, but instead of in colour blocks, I'm putting all the purples at the bottom and it makes this pinwheel design in the centre. Or we can remove those four all together and we can just put in two and a half by four and a half inch white bits of fabric. And then we've made a pinwheel with our flying geese units. So it's a really quick, really versatile, really simple block to make. I really like making these. Um, made really simple with our ruler. There's less fabric waste and certainly anytime I'm using fabrics where I've got strips. So if I'd use the jelly roll from the uh, pre-cut bundle here for the soiree, this, this ruler is absolutely perfect to make those. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, please share any of your photos with us on social media. We'd like to see if you give these a go and what you make from them. And I hope you'll join me again here next time in the sewing studio.